Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Soriam and I do lifestyle videos, cleaning motivation, and cooking videos as of recently. So today is one of those cooking videos. Oh my gosh, my little hairs. Yeah, lipstick. Pina de la bimba. Thank you. Your turn. Your turn, your turn. Lipstick. Good job. Okay. Yeah, got your lipstick. All right, go. So, um, like I was saying, if you're new here, my name is Soriam and I make lots of videos. I am posting twice a week on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. So, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video or videos like this, give them a thumbs up. That really helps me out as I'm trying to grow my channel and grow this uh, like lifestyle mommy community. So, for today, I am going to be um, combining like three or four days. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. Um, so, I am going to be showing you really Really easy dinner recipes um, this is stuff that you know you could get done in under an hour or so uh, depending on like if you prep or whatever but um, I am NOT a fan of cooking it's really annoying it's time-consuming I don't like really like it like I do it but I don't really like it so I always like to pick recipes and I like to make things that are easy um, and that I could do pretty quickly so um, today I am starting with um, really easy Alfredo sauce pasta and chicken and I will be showing you um, three or four meals, depending, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but either three or four uh, really easy dinner ideas and recipes and how I like to make them. It's so easy. And yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying my video so far. If you do like this one specifically, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I am gonna get started on tonight's dinner. So for this meal, I actually started prepping it a little while ago, around like two, and it's five o'clock now. So I'm gonna actually start cooking now. Go sit down, Amara. Yeah. So um, so I'm gonna start making it today, but um, or right now it's five. It's a, yeah, it's five o'clock right now. Um. So I prepped the chicken, like I, just, I cut it up and I seasoned it um, at two. So I'll put in the clip of me doing like the prep work. So the recipe that I went off of or like what was the inspiration was one that I found on Pinterest like a million years ago, probably like four or five years ago. Um, I found the recipe for Alfredo sauce and so I've been doing that and I don't really measure anything. So if I find the original inspiration recipe, I will put it in the link below, but I'm also just gonna talk through kind of what I do. It's really easy and I never really measure things. Um, 
at all ever unless I'm baking like brownies like instant brownie mix or whatever but um, I'm just gonna kind of show you how I like to do things it's you know it's just how I do it so if you want to go off of the directions and like the measurements um, I'll put the link below to the original recipe that I got so um, I have a saucepan here this is where I'm gonna make the sauce the Alfredo sauce and then in this pan um, I'm gonna make the chicken but I'll make the chicken super last right around the time that Derek gets home so it's fine now he'll be home in about six I think um, and then you also need a pot for the pasta so I'll get that out later but I'm gonna start working on the sauce so that that could um, get started and be good to go so I'm just gonna turn the stove on um, on like medium medium low and we're gonna start with some butter so i just have regular country crack um regular country crack butter so i'm just gonna do these are the um like tablespoons so i'm gonna do like two heaping tablespoons of butter um so it's just a bunch of butter and like i said this is just how i do it i don't really measure anything so keep that in mind but i'm gonna let that uh, i'm putting that on the the stove on medium now just so it can melt down so i have um the butter just melting in here then i'm gonna add in some heavy cream um and i'm gonna use uh, about half of a thing of cream cheese um oh and i need parmesan cheese too some of that so parmesan cheese so i'm just gonna go in and add the um i'm gonna add the heavy cream put the put the heat down a little bit so that was about like a quarter of this container um this is the the one pint so this from this pint i am just adding i added like a quarter of it so this is left over from um before so i had used that before so the cream cheese i'm going to do about um a little maybe a little bit less than half of the the cream cheese so i'm going to do like a little bit less than half of this little bar here i'm going to throw that in there gonna let that melt down so now that the cream cheese is um like melted in there i'm gonna add the parmesan cheese and this is just um just shredded parmesan cheese so i can add a lot of this because i love cheese so i'm gonna do a little bit at a time and then whisk it so it doesn't um so it like melts nicely in there So now that everything is in there, I'm going to season this up. So I'm doing salt. And uh, ground white pepper. So you could just season it to taste. Because um, like I said, I don't measure anything ever. So mix that all together. So I am just heating up some water in my big pot for the pasta and I am going to start making the chicken really soon but the sauce is done so now all that I have left is the chicken and the pasta.
So for today, I am going to be showing you the um, second really quick, easy meal that you can make for dinner. Um, I love this because it's so, so, so easy. Um, and I am using my crock pot. Um, so I didn't show the clip of me actually doing this because I did this earlier um, and I totally forgot to film it. But I'm going to tell you what is in the crock pot right now. So then later I'll show you how I'm going to make the other part of this dinner. <laughs> Hi, baby. So right now it is 4.15 and I put this in the crock pot at 2, I think. Um, so I put it in there at 2 and it's just been cooking away. I had it on high earlier um, because I did put the chicken in here. So I just did two chicken breasts. And I put them in um, frozen because I forgot to take them out this morning. So, my bad. But uh, they were frozen, so I did put this on high. But um, uh, like 20 minutes ago, I put it on low. I made sure that the chicken was separated. And I cut it up into pieces. And now it's on low for the next couple of hours until dinner is like ready to be eaten. So, I'm going to show you the crock pot. And I am going to kind of walk you through all the stuff that I put in it. It's so easy. Um, um, and I'm kind of like annoyed with myself that I didn't film it when I was like prepping it, but it's fine. It's the same. Um, so let's get into the crock pot. So this is the crock pot that I got um, from Amazon and it was like $20. It's really big and it has the clips that holds the lid down and it just has the off, low, high, and then warm buttons. Um, so I have it now on low because it's been in there for two hours now so let me bring this forward and i'll show you what i have in here so in here i put two chicken breasts i have um i put in a drizzle of olive oil i did um one whole pepper one whole onion and i just did left those in like long slices so i just sliced them up and threw them in here i also put in like a half a teaspoon of um diced garlic and then to season the meat i added um uh, adobo and garlic powder a little bit of cumin and i also added a little bit of garlic salt so that is it i mean i threw everything in here the chicken was frozen when i put it in here so about two hours in i just went in and um made sure that the chicken was broken apart um and then i went in and cut it into so then I cut it, I cut the chicken into like pieces, like a little bit smaller pieces. So um, this is going to be enough for us for dinner tonight and maybe even lunch tomorrow for, for Derek so he could take it to work. Um, and I also put in uh, like a medium potato so I have like potato bites in there. But it smells delicious. So um, now that that's been on there for a while, I'm just going to... Put the lid back on. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna make to go with the chicken. So I might do um, just plain white rice or I was thinking maybe even doing um, baked potato because I did that a couple weeks ago and it was so good. And I had forgotten how good baked potatoes are. So I will show you later what I decided to do to go with the chicken. And yeah, that's it for now. And I'll check back in later when I'm ready to make the next part of the dinner. So it is 5.15 now and I just decided to make some rice because it's, it's really easy. So I just put the um, chicken on warm, on the warm setting on the crock pot just because it's like completely done now. Um, and I'm gonna wait for my water to come to a boil for my rice. Um, and this is Puerto Rican style white rice, it's really easy. Um, so I did um, in the pot two mugfuls of water. So I was just using this really nice clear mug that I have. So I filled those up two cups of water. Um, and I use a mug so um and then I did about a half a tablespoon of salt I don't really know I just kind of wing it um and then I'm gonna do two mugfuls of rice so um two of these of water two of these of rice and then the last step is to add the oil 
uh, which I use just vegetable oil, um, two of the big serving spoons of oil. So I'm gonna wait for my rice to come to a boil, that are the water. So I'm gonna wait for the water to come to a boil and then I am gonna pour in two cups of rice and the oil, mix it up. It should be done in like 15 minutes, so it's quick. So last time I went to the grocery store, I got some broccoli and I haven't used it yet. So um, I just got it out now and I'm gonna cut it up and um, just make some broccoli too to go with this meal. So um, that broccoli doesn't go bad and um, we can use it. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I chopped up some of the broccoli and I put it in a pot and I just turned it on. It's a kind of medium high so it could get done pretty quick. And I'm just gonna, a little bit of salt in here. Now that the, the water over here is boiling, I am gonna put in my two cups of rice and then the oil. So I just put the rice in the pot and um, I put the broccoli to cook and I'm gonna clean up really quickly just the little mess that I made and this all should be done like the rice and well the broccoli will probably be done in like 10 minutes um, and the rice will be done in like 15 minutes. Um, so I put it on medium, on medium on the stove and I'm gonna let that completely um, cook so the way I was taught to make rice is you put it in the pot you add you know you do your water your salt you put your rice the oil mix it all up put the lid on and you don't take the lid off until all the water is dried up so I'm gonna wait like um, like five to ten minutes um, and uh, when I lift the lid if there's still water like if I could still see water in the um, like in the rice then I have to put the lid back on and you don't mix it until the water is dried up so I will show you that when it gets to that but now I'm just gonna clean up my little mess and I will um, catch back up when dinner is almost ready So for today, I am gonna be making chili, um, and it's gonna be like half crock pot meal. So I'm gonna prep a lot of the stuff on the stove, and then I'm gonna put it in the crock pot so I can um, like continue cooking all day. So right now, it is gonna be one in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna get started now on prepping everything and putting it in the crock pot so that later on, I don't have to do anything and it is gonna be done. So I love doing crock pot meals and I usually start at about 12 or one. So <laughs> that way I can have the um, the food in the crock pot as long as possible so that it can have, so it can have a lot of flavor and um, usually we have dinner around six. So I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna make the meat on the stove, the onions and the peppers, and then I'm just gonna assemble everything and put it in the crock pot and I'm gonna show you how easy it is, right? Who's that pretty girl? I'm mom. <laughs> Love you. Te amo. You, mommy. Ah, you're Te amo. Te amo, mommy. All right, so I have, I think I have everything out. I might need some garlic, but I'll get that in a second. So over here for my canned things, I have um, this can of tomato sauce, this a big can of crushed tomatoes, two cans of dark kidney beans, one of the pink beans, and then one can of corn. 
Um, I have one pepper. I have like a quarter of a pepper that I'm going to use. I have this onion. This is the one that I used this morning. So I only used like one slice. So I'm going to use the rest of this. I might even use another one because I like a lot of veggies in my chili. And then I have some ground beef right here that I had thawing. And then over here I have all my spices and stuff. So I'm going to use adobo, garlic powder, cumin, um, garlic salt. And I think that's it for that. So I am gonna start prepping all of my vegetables here and I'm gonna get them cooking on the stove so that they can be nice and soft so I'm gonna put all of the canned ingredients in my crock pot and get that started as well so let's get started so I'm just going to rinse the beans really quickly and nothing too crazy just run some water through them to get the, that liquid they're in off So now I'm going to throw all the canned uh, ingredients into the crock pot and mix it all together. While the veggies are cooking on the stove for a little while, I'm just going to go in and season the chili base. Um, I want to have good flavor. I want it to taste really good. So I'm just doing um, some adobo, some garlic powder, and um, cumin. And then I added a little bit more garlic powder and a little bit more of adobo. And um, then into the veggies, I'm going to add um, like a spoonful of garlic. And I'm going to mix that up and let it cook for a couple more minutes before I put it into the crock pot. In the same pan I cooked the veggies, I'm just going to add another drizzle of oil. I'm going to put in my ground beef and I'm going to start breaking it apart into little tiny pieces. And once it is um, all like broken up, I'm going to season it with um, adobo, garlic powder, and cumin. So I forgot to take a like last little clip of like the bowls, but I um, let this cook for like three and a half to four hours in the crock pot on uh, low. And then uh, once I served it, I put some uh, shredded cheddar cheese on top and a dollop of sour cream and it was delicious. It was so, so good. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, three easy recipes. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more videos. I post every uh, Wednesday and Saturday. So I hope to see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye.